This video shows you how to download Python and also talks a bit about what a program is. Programs are everywhere on your computer and on the internet. Every time you use a web browser, play a computer game, or write a text message on your cell phone, you're using a program. Even your operating system, such as OS X or Linux or Windows, is a program. A program is just a set of instructions. We say programs are run or executed. Programs, such as your operating system, run on hardware, like a cell phone or your laptop or a tablet. But programs can also be run by other programs. This is what happens when you play a game in a web browser. Your web browser knows how to run programs written in a programming language called JavaScript. This web page on Wikipedia lists all the programming languages that anyone has ever bothered to enter here. And there are hundreds of them. You've probably heard of some of the programming languages. We've heard of a lot of them, but certainly nowhere near all of them, and we doubt that anybody knows all the programming languages listed here. So, Python is a programming language, one of many. In order to run Python programs, you need to download a program that understands that language, much like your browser understands JavaScript. In order to work through this course, you will need to download uh, this program from python.org. There are two main versions of Python, Python 2 and Python 3. We're going to use Python 3, so go ahead and click on Quick Links, and this is the download page for Python 3, the current version. If you use Linux, you can use your package manager to install Python 3. If you use Windows, this link is appropriate. If you use OS X, or one of the recent versions at least, then this is the appropriate link to click. If you use a Mac, you may need to install something called Pickle TK in order to run the, uh, the program we use to write Python programs. So let's just scroll down to the bottom here. If you're a Mac user, click on this link, and then scroll down and download Active TCL 8.5.12 or whatever the newest version is. You're going to have to uh, go to the Active State website and then just click this big blue download button in order to get that. To write our Python programs, we're going to use a program called Idle, named after Eric Idle of Monty Python. Idle comes with Python. Just double click on the icon, and hopefully, you see a window that looks like this.